Welcome to Two Guys, One Podcast. I'm one guy. I'm the other. And this is the podcast. Um, I think it's weird that we're doing one. And I also think that it's weird that I've never done one before. I've never recorded a podcast. I like to talk way too much. I do radio for a living. I have written like a bajillion blogs. I spend a lot of time on the internet. Podcasting is a thing. I have never done it. On the flip side, you don't own an iPod. Have you ever owned an iPod? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I uh, I think I still have one somewhere. Uh, it's somewhere. Do I you mean, remember I, what, like, I, which one it was? Was it one of the small ones or was it one of the, the old big ones? No, no, no. I didn't. Uh, I think it was a Nano, maybe. Yeah. But it had a screen. So whichever was the small one with the screen. Like, the, it wasn't the short, fat one, was it? They made Yeah, the, yeah. It was the, the short, one generation. fat one. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was, truthfully, it was my favorite of the Nanos. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was the worst one since they never did it again. No, well, I think, I don't think the company was very happy with it. And maybe the sales weren't as high as some of the others. But uh, I I loved that Nano. We I didn't own, I've never actually owned an iPod. I make fun of you for, for I've owned well, an iPod you... shuffle. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I've owned an iPod shuffle. And then uh, I never had money, like, first of all, the first wave of iPods kind of missed us. Like we were already in college and like high school kids, it, it was like, what was it? 2001 when the first one came out, we were in, we really? were in college and, and we were, I mean, yeah, on yeah. Beer. I remember being in college when, when they came out. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, so it was, that was not, we, we didn't we have $300. The first one to DJ a party. Did you really? Uh, me and a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine, whenever we were kind of in high school, getting the first thing in college, uh, he DJed. And I'm I'm not talking about like radio DJ, but we would we would spin in jams at a yeah, party. Yeah, we would go to parties. Wait, you you're saying he did this as a gig? As, as a gig, a, as yeah, a yeah, yeah. He did it, he did it as a gig, um, and we would go to like junior high dances. We he he would get hired to do junior high dances, high school dances, uh, bar mitzvahs. Right. We did everything with CDs, so you'd have like the six. He was a DJ even then. He didn't jump on. You, I assumed you were saying like he got an iPod and he was like, I could DJ a party. Now. No, no, we did it. I mean, we didn't do it old school. Obviously, he had like it wasn't a box records, full of CDs. It was, yeah, we did with several boxes full of CDs. And and uh, it was such a pain when people would request something. But what, what we did, what made things super easy is whenever you could burn CDs. Yeah, and instead of having several boxes of CDs, you would have one of those big binders. And that was it. And then I was I was so surprised that it worked that we uh, we didn't. But whenever I was in college, a, a group of friends and I DJed a party with an with an iPod, the first generation iPod. Awesome. So you're saying so you're saying you're surprised a that we're doing a podcast, and and b that you haven't done one before. I am I am not surprised on either of those accounts. Really, I am I am an ambitious but lazy bastard that's a true story uh no not that you haven't done one. Oh, i mean you're not surprised that you, that you are doing one i'm not surprised that i'm doing one i'm i'm definitely not surprised that i've never done one before no i am not surprised that you've never done one before i for many reasons and the whole point of this is to schedule the same kind of discussion that we have and enjoy in the living room but just to be able to share with other people because we think it's funny as hell and we think other people would like it too. So so I see why you haven't done one before. Why why did you finally decide that it was a good idea? I didn't. You did. Yeah, I did. I kind of forced you into it, didn't I? I got really excited. I made, I made an icon. I am a bit bombastic from time to time. So, uh, But the good news is so we are doing the podcast. As if you're hearing this, then, then you know that this is a podcast. Um, We'll try to do it. Uh, We're gonna do a lot. I'd like of to editing. post. Yeah, of course. I'd like to do. Uh, I'd like to do one a week. But but my goal. We're gonna put some in the can. See if there's a thing that we like, and if it's gonna happen. And then if we if we get. You know, four or five built up, and we're like, "Yeah, we can make time for this on a regular basis." And these are all good. Then we'll start posting some. Look, I'm gonna publicly. Uh, I'm gonna make this announcement right now. Sure. Um, I don't know what this says about the show, but I will probably never listen to a single one of them. No, I don't think that's that strange. I um I am very likely to listen to all of them. And of course I'll do all of the editing in the near term. Right. Track. So you'll tell you what I'm gonna do later this if we do this though, I'm gonna get an intern and let an intern edit our podcast. I'm almost completely one hundred percent trusting you. Oh yeah, to not oh I didn't even think about that. Because we I mean your wife will probably listen. Mrs. Other guy will will listen to the Man, podcast. Yeah, I'm sure she will but I, 
but I won't. So I will never know if I've if I fucked you. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, you would know if I actually fucked you, but if I fucked you by by putting something yeah, on I the would, air that you would. Yeah, of. exactly. You you are getting so much tape of my voice right now saying all kinds of things. It has to be so simple to cut it. Like I've probably said pedophile four times. Imagine. Oh, if I uh, like the Ricky Gervais joke, loop make a make a dance track with ID to knob at night. Carl Pilkington. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can. I can yeah. Try. Did you you could do so many worse things. Like I, I feel like it's like one of my goals isn't. I'm the other guy, and I love to get off to Pampers commercials. Yeah, like yes. you would like yeah, yeah, you yeah. could do that. Yeah. I don't think that you would. No. No, 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 no. That's the, it'd be the atomic bomb on my life. Like I, you, we've, <laughs> you are, you, you are my strange uh, middle aged adopted father. So if I we am. get sponsored, yeah, we get money. Wouldn't that be awesome? I don't think we're going to get sponsored. Oh, I'm almost certain we're not. But yeah, I, I only want to do weird, weird sponsors. Like, yeah, <laughs> this like, week's show brought to you by Ah, perfect segue, other guy. We've got, and I think this should be a segment. You you like strange food. I only like four or five foods, which is definitely something we'll talk about. You like all sorts of. You like new experiences. Yeah, I love new experiences. I don't think the yeah orally. I think they're just as th- well. Yeah, I think the foods I eat are just strange to you because you literally don't eat anything. Don't eat anything. Cardboard and vitamin supplements. Worse. <laughs> Deep fried cardboard and vitamin supplements. What what, vi- what do you eat that has a single vitamin in it? No, I take vitamin supplements. Oh, I'm okay. saying I take I take I take <laughs> one a day. <laughs> so you don't get scurvy. <laughs> yeah, I I don't eat any fruits and vegetables, nor do I drink any organic juices. Yes, I take uh, vitamin supplements to make sure that I don't get scurvy. I'm, 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 what's the other one? What's the other one that sailors got? They got scurvy and something else. They, they turned green or something, right? I mean, not seasickness, but <laughs> they, they got, yeah, they got scurvy and giant octopi. What we're, what we're going to try to do is from time to time, like you like strange chocolates and you, I say strange chocolates. I go to this all the time, and it's like one time at a party. <laughs> some flavored chocolates, but the, I like to try things. I understand that I may not like it. Yes, I understand that I could get this and go, "Oh, what a horrible purchase this is." I understand that, but whatever fantasy I had in my head that this could possibly taste like, yes, was worth the whatever it was to buy it. No, see that's foreign to me. I don't understand that at all. Why would you I why would you spend money on a good unless you were I'm okay with trying a new thing once in a while. Like I get a new experience. I'm for travel for instance. I'll go to a place that I've never been before, but I wouldn't go to a place without reading <laughs> reviews on whether or not it was any good or talking to a friend who had been there. Yeah, but what's the su- what's never- the surprise in that? The su- what's the the what's the is- what's the self discovery you get from making that journey? I'm going to research something so much that I can almost guarantee that I'm going to love it. You don't grow as a person. I you so you're saying you can never grow through a positive experience? That's not true. I'm not saying that you can't go through a positive experience, but I'm what I'm saying is it's the negative experiences that make the good ones so great. If all you get is good, 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 good becomes average. I suppose I, I, I'm, you make a good argument, but I'm going to keep eating the cardboard and vitamin supplements. Yeah, I do like, you know what I like every now and again, and this is so ridiculous, but I drank, uh, well, I drink, I drink a lot of diet Coke. So Kate, okay, I, for some reason I had a little scare a while back, uh, that, uh, I don't know that something was wrong with my kidney or something. I don't know. I had some pain. I think I had maybe a kidney stone. If I did, I passed it very easily and it wasn't that big a deal, but I was worried about it for like three days. Things were hurting that didn't ever hurt before. So I drank was that a lot of cranberry juice. announcement that you have a huge cock? No. No, 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 no. What do you – oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> kidney stone. I passed, I passed it. I passed it so easy. I <laughs> no, I don't have I a huge cock. You never, I, just you never gigan- hear, like, I just have a gigantic urethra. Yeah, like, like you never a – kidney, a kidney stone story never ends that way. Like anybody that brings up a kidney stone is like, oh, my God. It's it the worst like, thing ever. It was like, like giving, giving birth, birth. baby. Yeah, That's what they exactly. Said. He said the same thing. It was like giving birth. Yes. But apparently not for you. Uh, 
That's why I'm not positive that I passed a kidney stone. Kidney stone. Perhaps I just, I don't know, maybe I just had a sore bladder that week or something. I don't know. Maybe I had a little infection of some sort. I, whatever it was, I was hurting and then I'm, I wasn't after like three or four days. But one of the things I did during that period of the Syphilis drank, does that. <laughs> I did not. Well, I don't know. Does syphilis go away? I don't, I don't currently have syphilis. Let's put it like that. I think, no, I think I don't think I have syphilis. It. Penicillin kills it. I'm yeah. allergic to penicillin. Penicillin kills me. <laughs> well, maybe you, but maybe you ate like a, mul- a moldy honey bun or something. I, it's possible. Lots of things are possible. I don't. I think I would notice a moldy. I eat them pretty fast. It's possible. And I they're would covered not in sugar. <laughs> they taste so delicious. So I drank cranberry juice. Turns out I like cranberry juice. Imagine that. It's not bad. So the only re- <laughs> you, you were forced to drink cranberry <laughs> juice by the excruciating pain in your kidney. Um, well, Did I you go to the doctor? No. no. Cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it so much. It's going to cure me. Oh, this is delicious. It's not. I didn't, it's, I didn't think it was going to cure me because I hated it. And I didn't know that I was going to hate it. I assumed that I wouldn't love it. Although, uh, oh, my mother has, she also doesn't like juices. She drinks Diet Coke too. Uh, we're both very unhealthy people. But she told me, she told me too. She was like, cranberry juice isn't bad, actually. It's not the worst thing in the world. And you know what? It's not like, look, I'm not drink, I'm not drinking cranberry juice now, am I? I'm drinking a Diet Coke. But, uh, but I, I have and will again drink cranberry juice. So, what we're going to do? Yes, getting back to do the whole point of this segment. What we're going to do weekly? I'd like you to, when we can, you pick up something interesting in the convenience store, something new you hadn't tried before, and and try it here on the show. I like that. Today, what did you bring in for us? Uh, I've got a Uber Monster Energy Brew. It says it's bioactivated and non-alcoholic. Bioactivated sounds to me like we we put bacteria in this, but don't worry <laughs> about it because it's all natural. Well, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand why you would have to put the non-alcoholic on it. Well, it's they say something about a micro brew, though, right? Anytime you say brew, I think the assumption is that there's going to be uh, a fermentation. Mm-hmm. Right, like I mean, even you, like you brew root beer, I guess. Right. So what you're saying is this uh, this Uber Monster, it's a Monster Energy drink, is really just rotten old Monster that they couldn't sell, <laughs> uh, and they've repackaged. I'm it not saying and that. they're sending it out. I'm saying if it was, <laughs> it'd be a wise choice. So, so the the idea though is that this is like a beer. It's got some of the qualities of a beer am i right is that the way that they're pitching uh, it it's obvious it's packaged like a beer yeah i think it's packaged like a beer it's a large green bottle you know that dark green like a heineken bottle or something yeah so i think it's packaged like a beer i don't i I haven't tried it yet i haven't haven't tasted it but when i did open it like there wasn't a yeah it didn't didn't seem to be yeah carbonated right maybe no fizz yeah there's no fizz no head all right so this is the uh uber monster Super brew. Sounds delicious. You would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it, uh, I don't know. Let me try it again. All right. On a, on a scale of sweaty nutsack to pour iced tea. Wait, those are two bad things. <laughs> I'm saying you said was, I would be wrong that it was delicious. Well, it's not. It's definitely not delicious. It uh, it literally tastes like a. It tastes like an energy drink. Uh, so you you're not feeling the uberness, the Germanic beer influence. Yes, if it if it is like an energy drink, so much though that this is the baseline energy drink, then it is an uber. It is ah. Uh, it is the the perhaps the ultimate expression of the yes. energy drink. Like when you think energy drink, this is exactly what it's going to taste like. Yeah, but look at the the scripting on the bottle. Like obviously the the, I mean it looks like a not Heineken. What is that script? The, it looks like a um, Jägermeister bottle. Yeah, I. But but no no alcohol, so you're not going to get any buzz there, and apparently not a whole lot of flavor either. If you no, if tastes, you like Monster, tastes, this is probably like it, fine. Yeah, it, uh, the warning. Consume responsibly, max one bottle every four hours. Yeah, look at that. Max one bottle. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a warning that you're not allowed to drink two in a four-hour period? Well, I, d- I think you can drink however many you want. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, I, it's not illegal. Here's, here's what the I think. The monster police are going to uh, show up at your house. And- 
snatch your bottle away. Yeah, it kind of makes me want to drink two in like 30 minutes. Yeah, we've talked about this. You and I are not going to die of heart attacks. All right, we can five-hour energy it once in a while. We're going to live to be very old men. You're not going to drink two of those in 30 minutes. That's not going to happen on my watch. I'm afraid not. No. Mrs. Other Guy would be very displeased with me. No. So, officially, though, we're going to give Uber Monster the... Uh, I'm going to say... No. Yeah. I has got the I, thumbs down. Yeah, the thumbs down. Uh, Uber Monster, don't call us to rep your shit because it's horrible and you couldn't pay me enough to do it. I don't think we were in danger of that. All right. So, I spent a lot of time thinking about different things that we can do on the show from time to time. Uh, one thing, and we're going to get to this in a little while, you read a ridiculous amount of books. You're very, very literate. You're reading something new right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're probably going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you to talk about the books every week, mostly because I need a list of books to get to, you know, when I get off my ass and stop reading the internet, when they stop writing things on the internet, I'll read a lot more books after the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the guy <laughs> when there's no choice. Yes, I'm going to be the guy uh, in the uh, in the Twilight Zone episode that like loses. You know, he's got the gigantic. He's the last man on earth, and he's got the gigantic library, like the the Library of Alexandria, full of full of books, and his, his reading glasses break. No, I'm that guy. I'm going to read after the world is over. I read now. I just don't read nearly as much as you do, and I retread. That's the big difference. You always forge ahead into new territory. And I I go back a lot to the books that I love. I like I like comfort. It's just like in food. I don't like I don't like experiences. I like experiences that I know I'm going to enjoy more than experience that I might enjoy. And so unless unless something is pounded over the head or is so obviously right from the start something that I'm going to be interested in, then I I generally I don't go and do it. Point is, we're going to talk to you about this book next week. Then yeah, I think it's yeah, I think uh, I think the reason I'm interested because you don't. There's not a whole lot of books out there. It's just different. Pushing that. Like I literally have no idea how to pronounce some of the characters' names because it's like in Gaelic. Yeah. Like – Well, like with the – does Gaelic do the dots and stuff like German? Uh, No, but there's like a big O in the middle of stuff. <laughs> I don't like know if that's – Yeah, like a big – like. I don't know if that's a long O sound or if it's just a very short, loud O. Or if it's silent. Who would who, who would put a gigantic O in the middle of a word to be silent? <laughs> yeah. Somebody who is that cocky, like my name, needs more length. I uh, I downloaded uh, like the trial lesson or whatever from um, Rosetta Stone for Gaelic once. It's actually a really pretty language spoken out loud. Really say something. I, no, I didn't learn anything. I downloaded it and listened to it for a while. So, I mean, Rosetta Stone, Stone, you will not be calling us either. No, it's just, <laughs> as I said earlier in the show, I am, I am an ambitious but lazy bastard. I, I, I downloaded the thing thinking, hey, I could give this a shot, and if this is cool, I could learn. Look at that. I could learn Gaelic. I've got Irish heritage. That would be awesome. Why would yeah. it be? Who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to speak to with Gaelic? Is that your pickup line? It would, it would be a terrible. I say that. I don't know, man. That might could work pretty good. Go into the and, – and just drop a little Gaelic and then drop into the general Irish accent. Like my Irish accent have you, have you ever heard great, Gaelic? Have you ever heard it spoken? Yeah, it's a little guttural. It's a little German. So, so you don't think you would sounding. say something like that? It's a little Viking sounding. So you, don't say, so you don't think that you would drop a line and the person won't look at you like, what a douchebag. The fuck are you He's doing? speaking Klingon. No, no. I think – I think, uh, well, maybe you'd have to wait until after. Like if some, like if some, what I'm saying is. Maybe, maybe, maybe after Brave comes out and we've heard a little, we've heard yeah, a little no, Gaelic. No one knows what it sounds like. No one knows what it sounds like. Like if you speak Spanish, people will obviously know. Even if, like I understand very, almost no Spanish. But if I hear somebody speak it, I can go, oh, he's speaking Spanish. Right. Or Portugal. Portuguese. I don't know that I can tell. I don't know that I could tell out loud the difference between Spanish and Portuguese. Right. I, I couldn't either, but. For example, if Spanish and, and Oh, you were saying French. Spanish or Port- – yes, I yeah. can tell the difference between Spanish and French. Can you tell the difference between Russian and Gaelic? Yes. Yeah, because you know what Russian sounds like. I know what, I know what Gaelic sounds no, like too though. No one I do. Uh, you, they, 
Well, I'm trying to. I can't think of a phrase in Gaelic now. Yeah, because no one can. <laughs> Fair enough. Gaelic is a dead language, and now all the Irish people are very angry with us. It's worse than a dead language. We're huge Latin, in Ireland. Latin is a de- <laughs> Latin is a dead language. People still use it. I think some people still speak Gaelic too. When we were in yeah, they have a whole they have a whole channel. Yeah, they have a whole Gaelic channel. There's lots and of I watched it. It's fun, right? What does it sound like? You don't remember. If you did, you would have dropped it on us. Yeah, no. yeah. I'm not going to remember. All right, then. It's all like there's no – the only vowel is a big O, and they just put it in the middle of shit. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think that's, I think that's false. I don't think their only vowel is a big O. All right. <laughs> we'll come back next week and learn more about the, the Gaelic lessons from your No Jewish one wants book. to hear that. Uh, Mark, Mark Hearn? Was that the guy's name? Kevin. Kevin Hearn. See, this Kevin is how Hearn. little you care. I don't know. I do care. I I will care when you tell me the books are good. I I can't I can't get that excited. You read too much. I can't get excited about every book you read. You getting, read a, I'm not you read a like, lot of books. The book could be could be rubbish. Honestly, it could be. Yes. But I found that out. Yeah. I just I, I'd rather not find it out. I'd rather you tell me. Hey, that book's rubbish. Don't read it. Save your time. Wait. Now. I've mentioned a ton of book. I've mentioned several great. Great books, great getting... works. No, you're not. No, you're not. I mentioned these great books, and this is what I get from you. Nah, I think I'm gonna go back and read this one. That that's I'm reading a new book right now. I'm in the middle of, uh, and I'm almost precisely in the middle of. I'm reading American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I've tried this book a couple of times now. I could never really get into it. It's slow. It does not. I like the mythological aspects of it, but Gaiman's writing is, I don't know, man. Sometimes here's how slave you are to routine. Instead of going to a new book that maybe will be awesome, you've gone back to one that you know is crap. Well, not no, crap, but you think like you just don't enjoy. Like I do, I do feel like I, I do feel like I'm missing something here. Too many people that I appreciate and respect their opinion have told me that he's a great writer, and I've read Sandman and I like Sandman, but I don't love Sandman like other people love him, which is why I've, I g- gave up those comics eventually. And I, after I'll tell you this: there's a semi sequel to American Gods called. A Nancy Boys, I think, or sorry, Nancy Boys. I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm sure. Um, I won't read that. How how hard does the marketing for that have to be? A Nancy Boys, or when you can't even pronounce that? When I can't even? Well, I'm a I'm a bumpkin. I am I'm a I'm a bug on Neil Gaiman's radar. I no, Neil I Gaiman, think no, no. Think about this. Like I don't think the title is. the title of the first one. The first one is American Gods. Yes, Nancy Boys. There's one – it's a reference to one particular god I think is what it is, and, and it's just not a reference that you and I get. I, I think Neil Gaiman is one of those guys that he's just got his own audience. Like his – I don't think you do market a Neil Gaiman book. I think you just sell it to the Neil Gaiman people, you know. And is it is it Gaiman or Gaiman? Uh, just like there will always be a market for Weird Al albums. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic will always make music as long as he wants to make music because there's a certain segment of the population that wants to hear – a polka parody of, you know, whatever recent pop hit came out. There's an audience for everybody. Right. And that's why we're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there's some entertainment news that I saw today. I don't know. You're not on the internet quite as much as I am. Two, I've got, I've got the good interweb. News for you. That's right. The interwebs, the YouTubes. The www. The www's. Um, Cougar Town. You and the missus enjoy the Cougar Town. Yeah, right? they're moving uh, possibly to TBS. It's not possible. It's a done deal. TBS has rescued Cougar Town. This is coming from Entertainment Weekly. Uh, TBS, the cable network, has ordered a fourth season of the comedy to start airing in 2013. TBS has purchased the rights to Cougar Town's first three seasons for um, syndication, too. So that you're going to get reruns of Cougar Town leading up to the new episodes. But um, I, you and the missus both sell me on the show a lot. I don't watch it. Is it, is it really that good? It's from the guy behind Scrubs, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's uh, uh and uh, what, what's great is they. Uh, I think I like it more than I should, probably because of Scrubs. Huge Scrubs fan, love it. I, if I come across it, I'll watch it. I, I may have seen one episode fifty times, and I will still stop and watch Scrubs. Um, a lot of the same characters crossover, crossover, like the. The attorney I know has come over. He's right? been in it a couple of times, and he's Ted. He and plays one of his ex girlfriends has been on the show too, right? Yeah. One of the the chick from uh, Garfunkel and Oates, or whatever the 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 real small black hair. She plays the ukulele and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that one. 
Uh, and then the the neighbors, the uh, the creepy doctor uh, who was on Scrubs uh, that always wanted to have like threesomes and hey, do you guys swap? And, I don't remember that doctor at yeah, all. Yeah, he's kind of bald, real real creepy kind of looking guy. Uh, he's on it. Yeah, there's a lot of characters in there. And they even did one episode where it was like a Scrubs reunion and like everybody on Scrubs was on the episode. So do you think that uh, Bill Lawrence is the guy's name, I think, right? That's the cre- I think that's the creator for Scrubs. Do you think that he pulled in – those characters just to get you to watch his next show. And I don't mean you specifically, but so the show you've said yourself, I like it a lot more because of its connection to scrubs and because of how much you like that show. You think it's just a cheap ploy. Those are all tertiary characters, right? Like, I mean, Ted's not, Ted's not what Cougar town's about. No. And he's been on the show like two or three times yeah. and generally in small doses. Right. I mean, this is Courtney Cox's show, right? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Courtney Cox's show. Uh, even um, Dr. Cox's wife, I can't remember for some reason, I can't remember her name, on Scrubs, she's one of the main characters. Oh, all so, right. So, like, she's a main character, uh, but it's not. Jordan. Yes. She was Jordan on, God, I love her. She's yeah, so she was sexy. Jordan, but she's not Jordan. Right. She's not now Jordan see, on the show. Ah, uh, well. Does so she somebody, act like Jordan? Uh, she yeah, kind of. Yeah. She, they, they're both bitches, really. Yeah. yeah. All right. I wonder I'm if down. that's typecasting. I, I'm I'm assuming Courtney Cox is a very nice woman. The, well, it's not the, Courtney Cox. The actress who who played Jordan, I bet she's a little bit of a bitch, but in a good way. Like I bet I would I bet I would love her. And yes, I've always kind of had a thing for her. I maybe that's because I hero worship Dr. Cox a little bit though. You too. don't. You don't think she looks like her face has been cut on a lot? Really? No. Really? No. 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 I mean, I haven't seen her lately. Maybe she's had some work done or something. But I, no, I've always thought she was not. I wouldn't describe her as pretty or even beautiful, but definitely sexy. Always sexy. I don't think people of her age look like that. What is her age? I don't. I don't know. But her face doesn't betray it. Like she's not twenty one and she's not fifty, but she damn sure isn't thirty four. <laughs> you fenced off the high ground to the low end. And the middle. Where do you think she's? You think she slots in somewhere between thirty-four and fifty-one? You think she's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think she's in her late forties? And you're saying she looks, looks like she's 34. thirty-four, but she's definitely not that. Oh yeah, no way. See, okay. I'm I'm thirty this year. I don't look thirty, right? One assumes unless I'm a hard living dude between now and and forty. When I'm forty, I won't look forty. I feel like a lot of men just get away with that, and we don't ever question the fact that they look young. And women, we automatically go to, oh, they had some. Work no, you don't. Them. Like, there's, you don't look thirty because of your your haircut. <laughs> because I dress myself like a child. Yeah, like even the, even like who the hell bends their bill that much? I this is I've had this same. I, you're making fun of my baseball cap. I've had this same baseball cap. I stole this from my ex wife. Actually, this is her. It's like her high school boyfriend's baseball cap or something. I don't know. It's an old cap. I've never found – I've never had a fitted cap that fit my head. And when, when she and I first started dating, this was sitting in the – I don't know. It was hanging up on the, like a coat rack in her bedroom. And I was like, hey, that's a great hat. And I put it on my head as a joke thinking that it would literally fit up like way up high. And it actually fit my skull. And so I've held on to it. I've worn it way too long now. And, yes, it's very, very bent. But that – I'm trying to beg off. I'm not the one who did the bending. But that's a lie. I did the bending, some of the bending. Yeah, yeah. Like you had to have done the bending because it it frames my head. No, my, your hair, your oh. your little boy haircut, your head. You could replace your head with Bob's big boy's head, and you could have me holding up virtually the same. Does he hold a pie up in his hand? No, I think it's What's a burger, he's, man. He's got a burger on a plate. Yeah, I think it's Is a it burger. A, have you ever been to a big boy? No. I went. I got to go to one when we were uh, when when I worked in uh, Ohio. I was I worked in Zeno, Ohio, and have, and have secretly worshipped it ever since. To where you've you've the unknowingly you've unknowingly no. I sh- because we talked about you getting a haircut. You were supposed to get a haircut. I don't remember what you're going to do to it, but you, you I didn't. talked about shaving it. You I didn't. You still? It off. I didn't. I kept it. I spike it. When I spike it, I don't look like a little boy. I look younger than I am. But I think I think most thirty year olds. Either their hair is thinning, and so they begin to do like the Bruce Willis, where you're shaving it tight and higher and tighter and higher and tighter and higher. So uh, what are you what are you saying? Uh, 
And you're pulling it off well. <laughs> you're pulling off well. Or so either your hair is thinning and you're doing and you're going in that direction, or if you're 30 years old, like you probably I don't know, you work in middle management somewhere or something, and say so like you've got a very specific like a business haircut. I'm a DJ. I don't like. I could grow my hair long, except I don't. My want to dad owns a dealership. <laughs> yeah, my I'm dad. a DJ. <laughs> Whatever. I don't. I'm not spinning the the jams at a at a rave, uh, but. The whole point of my job is that I don't have to dress up. I get to wear a hoodie every day because the air conditioner is too cold in here, and and I get to wear Tom's to work. And and uh, now there's a company that could sponsor us. You think Tom's wants to? We would. I'd give away a pair every time I mention them in an advertisement. Um, okay, so so that was the one bit of news. Cougar Town is renewed. Uh, That's from good. TBS. Yeah, you're excited about that. Yeah, yeah. You think TBS is going to handle it right? <laughs> Are they going to give Tyler Perry the keys to it? Um, this uh. Back to your uber monster, dude. It just got real bad at the end. The dregs uh, are worse. There's yes. Mm. Is there stuff in the bottom of it? Is Maybe there like, I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it or not. Is it yeasty? I don't like. I don't know. I'm done with it. I don't blame you. I don't think I would. I I don't want things that there are. I don't drink coffee. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna rinds. keep. I'm gonna keep drinking it. But you're not real happy about it anymore. No, I'm not going to buy another bottle. Ah, I got you. I got. You. Well, I think that I think that was a foregone conclusion. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this one because you've got your 4.99 invested already. Just maybe the bottom's amazing. Maybe it gets better. At the yeah. And <laughs> yeah, this is the, I would not chase the negative experience with another negative experience. All right, here's my question for you today, and uh, we'll both take we'll both take a turn answering this. It's within your power to make one mythical creature real. Mm. What mythical creature do you choose? And this is, uh, so, any any it could be the yeti, and uh, even even the yeti because yeti's a good example or Nessie because maybe it's a real ki- creature, maybe it's not a mythical creature, maybe it's real. We don't have evidence of it though, so we're going to assume that it's mythical. If it's currently not known to exist, it's mythical. You can go to a phoenix. You could go to the hippogriff. Uh, I would, I would want to bring to life the hot redhead. That's not a fictional character. You've never seen a if, hot redhead. If you, you don't know a so. single hot redhead, I know. I know they're all. I know hmm. multiple hot redheads. I, and I'm requ- I'm required to say this, but it's also true. My girlfriend is a hot redhead. There you go. Look at that. Mm. All right, then. During college, though, in particular, and I've told this to many people, in college there were not one but two. There were two redheads on campus. One of them worked at McDonald's. Oh, Christ. I went to McDonald's so much. See, I know you're lying. Uh, I'm not because lying. Not, not, dude, not only is there not my mom's redheaded, uh, not only is it who. Not, not only is there not, not a hot only is there a, not a hot redhead, there's not an attractive person working at McDonald's. That's a lie. That's a that's completely a lie. The, you you've never fallen in love with a McDonald's girl. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever seen the same girl twice. And I don't think you've fallen in love with one either. I think you've fallen in lust. Yes, I've fallen and your in standards lust. are so low. You thought, man, I could get that McDonald's girl. My standards are not low. Not this now, girl, but when you fell in love with the McDonald's girl, really, you had, dude. Realize what you're saying. You're saying, I am in love with this incredibly hot. She was like, and I couldn't was, get her. She was, I couldn't get her. I couldn't get, I couldn't bag the girl that worked at McDonald's. This one, I don't think I could have. She was, she, I'm, she literally looked like Mary Jane out of, out of the Spider-Man comics. Uh, you're, you're wearing a Spider-Man shirt. She looked like honest to God. She, I want like you, I expected her every time I pulled up at the drive-thru, I expected her to call me tiger, you know, like, then, oh, then man. she's incredibly stupid and for working at McDonald's. Yeah, like attractive women don't should not work at McDonald's. Yeah, there's easier ways. Do. There's easier ways. Maybe she didn't want to trade on her good looks for them to make a living. Maybe she had. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not saying she has to be a prostitute. Right. Right. But she'd be nice. Pour herself out a little bit. That's all you're saying. No, you don't. No, it's so. Just <laughs> pull that top down a little, honey. Shake your money maker. Yeah. 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 Maybe she should. Like there's things to do. Get a get a get a rich boyfriend. 
Get a marry a rich husband. You don't have to work at McDonald's. Uh, independent ladies doing it for themselves. At McDonald's. <laughs> you've got you've got the ultimate power. Yeah, I feel because I feel like in the movies, like oh, this. I feel like in the movies, when you see a hot redhead, it's a hot chick that they just they give red hair. I was floored to find out that Emma Stone is not naturally a redhead. I, is she not? No. I thought she was, and then she was going blonde for the Spider-Man. I thought it was a big deal that they keep casting no. redheads for blondes in the Spider-Man movie. Yeah, no, no, no. She was uh, who? She, whatever her first. Easy movie. A is the first thing that I remember. No, her no, no, no. There was she did something um, before that. I have, still haven't seen that. By who? The way. Who did uh, Superbad? Because she was in Superbad. Who did that movie? At some Apatow's people, right? But Ap- he didn't do it. Well, I think he may. I think he may have. Uh, I think he was just a producer. Uh, super, well, t- I, we, shit, we have. Well, super whoever computers. whoever did it, like literally, told super her, bad. like told her, "Hey, show up. You should be redhead." Yes, and so she did, and has kept it ever since. I got. She looks so natural as a redhead. Exactly. This like exactly. Okay, so you're saying. So you're saying that there's not a naturally, naturally occurring redhead that's that hot. That's that attractive. That is that hot. I'm not. I'm not saying there's not attractive redheads. I'm talking about a hot redhead. Redheads, feel free to send your complaints and grievances to two guys one pod at me dot com. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't make any apologies. I, I I think you're wrong. I think there's plenty of hot redheads. All right, so that's your mythical creature. See, that's way lame. I I I'm going with the phoenix. I want a fucking phoenix. I want to call him Fox with a W and a K and an E and an S and an A before the W. So I guess I should have just spelled the whole thing. <laughs> it's a like, silent A. Like the Harry Potter. <laughs> it's a silent A. Like the Harry Potter Phoenix. That's I want. I want Harry Potter's Phoenix. I want him to carry me the Gryffindor sword when I need it in in dire need, and I want to when I am injured him to come and perch on my shoulder and cry and heal my wounds. I and want it, a Phoenix. And it's statements like that. <laughs> Uh, it's statements like that that keep me from being able to bag the McDonald's girl, right? No. I think that you would find anyone that you came in contact with enough at McDonald's attractive because you literally need McDonald's to live. There's no one working at the McDonald's right now that I find. No, that's not true. There but, is a cute girl there. It, it, <laughs> there a cute no, girl. but there's not. Yeah, there is. There's a brunette. No, there's, there's not. There's a, there's a dark-haired girl. She's got light skin, very, very attractive girl. Works at the works at the one over here. The one, the close one. <laughs> no. You've worked in food service before. Were there not attractive women in any of the places where you worked? Here's the deal. You're saying they were only attractive by your proximity to them and, and your necessity. Or, of- I'm not look, I'm gonna say they were made more attractive by my proximity to them. <laughs> All right. I mean, you, do you ever see two unattractive people together and they're obviously in a relationship? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's somebody for everybody. The ugly dude thinks the ugly girl is attractive because it's the only girl he can get to hang around him. Sweaty mouth, dude- sweaty mouth breather <laughs> isn't bagging Emma Stone. That's all I'm saying. You also think McDonald's women are attractive. Some of them are. This is You're harping on McDonald's. Late. Mc, McDonald's employees. Feel free to send your complaints to two guys one pod at me dot com. There you go. Would you would you would you pay for a calendar of McDonald's girls? Of McDonald's girls, I'd buy it. Yes, I put a price on. You it. You know why Playboy's never done a girls at McDonald's? They issue? have. They have. No. I guarantee you. I no. I guarantee you they've no. done a McDonald's. I disagree. Issue. I we're looking this up. I'm sure we might not look it up right now. I don't know if I can find this. Uh, I for some reason I I am I am an an adept Googler no, today. There's, there's been one. I, I can only remember one Playboy issue that is the girls of. And it was Enron. The women of Enron. After it went belly up. Oh, that's not true. They do the... Uh, after, ah, here you go. Watch. Playboy. Girls of McDonald's trailer. Uh, trailer? What is this? A they, movie? Well, you know, they do the... They, they film the photo shoots a lot. And, uh, and do the... They film the photo shoots and then put out these like soft core pornos where there's no actual sex, but it's you know it's like women and then the and interstitials of I say this like that I've sounds hot. A lot of them ugly mouth breathing McDonald's workers trying to do sexy poses. I do not think these are. I don't think these are ugly mouth breathers. Playboy women of McDonald's shabooty.com. 
Uh, this is in 2004. Number of copies sold? Three. <laughs> I didn't know about it or they would have sold four. Um, okay, this link does not have. Okay, so there is one pick here, actually. Yeah, no, I knew that there had been at least one. I, I, I swear, Playboy looking for girls at McDonald's. This is in. Yeah, you know how long they looked? No, they printed it at some point, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, 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 they printed it because here's a, there's a bunch of pictures here. They're what's not the, what's right the copyright? Now, what's the copyright on that issue? It's 2004. 2004. We'll have to. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. We will, we will, we will rejoin this. This will be a continuing topic because I'm, I'm defending the ladies at McDonald's. I know a few myself having worked at McDonald's once, and it's not just. I don't fetishize it. There are attractive people that work at McDonald's. Fucking. Didn't Beyonce work at McDonald's or Rihanna? One of the famous, one of these pop stars worked at McDonald's when yeah, she was in high school. when they were ugly. No, no, I don't. I, you know, did you see the, did you see the, uh, the high school photos of the Avengers the other day that the, some, somebody posted on the internet? They post like, it's I don't Scarlett think Thor Johansson. went to high school. No, but it was, it was Chris, Chris Evans and Hemsworth and Robert Downey Jr. and Ruffalo and, uh, who's the guy, Jeremy Renner and Scarlett Johansson. They had like. They're all like 15 or 16. And were they whatever, attractive at 15 the or 16? only two that were remotely attractive. Well, Robert Downey Jr.'s hairstyle was out of time. But if you if you take away – if you cover up his hair, he's a good-looking kid, you know. But Chris Hemsworth looks like Chris Hemsworth. And then his name's Chris, right? Yes. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth looks effectively like Thor, but he doesn't have 85 pounds of muscle on top of his shoulders. You know? Right. And Scarlett Johansson looks like a 16-year-old Scarlett Johansson. She's very pretty – Redhead, might I add, she was red in the photo. Now that I think about it, there you go. I think she may be a natural redhead. I think she looks like an alien. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, she's one of the. She's like consistently voted one of the the sexiest women on earth. You think she looks like an alien? Yeah, I do not understand you. This is why. This is why we need to get together weekly and have a have a, a discussion. You, you and I, we have so many things in common. Look at all the topics that we talked about with, that we both enjoy talking about, and yet. We come from precise different sides of the thing on a lot of occasions. Yeah, like there's a there's a right side, and, and then your side. side. It's right side, <laughs> and then my side. There you go. All right. Uh, well, we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to get together and do this uh, maybe again this weekend, even while I'm off. I don't know. Try to put a couple of these in the thing. I'm gonna edit this down and see what it turns into, and we'll we'll try to make this a weekly thing. See if we can. five minutes of poop and fart jokes. It's not five minutes of poop and fart jokes. <laughs> We talked about <laughs> women at McDonald's and other mythical creatures. I still yours yours is still bad. Like that's a the phoenix. Yeah, that's the, you're banging on the phoenix. Yeah, the phoenix. First of all, other, uh, so many of the mythical creatures. Okay, so fine. So I bring a dragon into existence, and then what does he do? He burns down my town. That's no, it depends that's on no the dragon you pick, man. Yeah, no, I, I'm assuming that I'm not. I'm like, what if it's peach dragon? Gonna, I don't want. Uh, what was Elliot? Right. Do, do, yeah. Do, do, do. Didn't he, he kind yeah, of but who says who says you get to pick? Tooted? Yeah, that's what I don't think you do. So that's I'm saying I say the genie pops out of the bottle and, and grants unto me the power. You say Ooh, you name a genie. one. Could could does a genie count? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mythical creature. There you go. You can uh, you can, you you can know, bring a gin into existence. Um, but the problem is now that I'm thinking about it, which I, genie is it? Is it going to be a genie that gives you three wishes, or is it a, or is it an is, is it a is an Islamic is is it a Quran jinn who's a a, a fire demon effectively? Uh, I'm. I take it back on either one of those. Yeah. Uh, no redhead. Who picks who gets the genie? That's what I'm saying. That's that's why I'm saying the phoenix is such is such a a brilliant choice because it's one of the few really awesome mythical creatures that is also in pretty much every version. It's a pet. Like it's it's a it's a thing that it's belongs to somebody. Well, it's not a pet, but it's a thing that belongs to somebody. It's a it's a it's a name tool three. For me. I can use name it. three. Name three where a phoenix is a pet. Harry Potter 1, 2, and 3. Yes, he doesn't count. Damn it. So could we, could you bring back, uh, like, a god? Like, could Zeus be my best friend now? Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say You're yes. I'm going to say centaur. yes, except that the qualifier for deities would be that they would be little G gods. So you could bring back Zeus like the Marvel version of Thor. Thor is not yeah, yeah, yeah. a cool real god. 
he has godlike, little g godlike powers. So you could bring back a guy who could fly, who could change shape you into could animals bring back and Superman winds, in? and could throw uh, could, lightning uh, bolts. Superman, does he count as a mythological creature? Yeah, I'm or, gonna. Well, uh, he's a mythological person. American American mythos, I guess. Yeah, it is the myth. It is the the mythology of the 20th century. Could, oh, man. but but the question there would be: Does he count as a creature? Could I bring? Could I? Could I? I would think he's a sentient life form. So I'm going to say no. Could you bring back like Frankenstein? Could you bring Frankenstein to life? Or I'm going to say or King Kong. King Kong, yes, King Kong, absolutely. A gigantic ape. Ape, yes, yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. A mammoth. Well, yeah, no, so mammoth you, isn't a real. So I'm, then, why, I mean, why would real, you? So why bring it back? We're going to do that anyway. We're going to have mammoths in a little. Not like that, but why would you? Why would you bring back like the Yeti or Bigfoot? I mean, when you could do King Kong, really? Um. Yeah. Well, first off, I'd feel worse for King Kong. Uh, so you'd sorry, feel sorry. worse for King I, Kong. I, I would feel worse for King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Is the Yeti the lowest form? No. No, but here's the okay. So yeah, first fuck off, the Yeti. First off, what do we know about? He's going to grow up lonely and have semi-human feelings and never be able to mate. Okay, but I'm what do we keep know? him in a cage and he's going to sling poo. All right, I'm going to have to. Maybe I'm a terrible person here, dude. This is, this is what our conversation really consists of. It's a long, it's a long, long history of me learning more and more what a terrible person I am in reality. When I thought I was the better man. I'm thinking about I am I am diminishing the suffering and pain or the theoretical suffering and pain of like a chimpanzee, for instance. And you're like, no, obviously a chimpanzee gets lonely, you dirty bastard. You know, like on on the planet of the apes, you are adopted yeah, and loved like, by the ape population. Like you're gonna bring, I'm like, brained. You're gonna bring back a yeti. Right. Who has no other yetis to I was gonna bring back the 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 Phoenix, by the way. Fine. Okay, fine. You're gonna bring back the Phoenix. Yes. That's fine. That has no other Phoenix uh Phoenix. Uh, what's the plural of Phoenix? I don't think there is one because the whole point of the Phoenix is that there's always one. Again, one of the reasons why I'm not screwing up the nature of things. Like it, it in in a lot of it, like there's one, right? Because no, it doesn't. I, no, there's a lot of them. But they don't they don't reproduce. No, they but they die say, and, but they say, and are reborn. They from don't the say ashes. They, even in Harry Potter, it's not. This is the Phoenix. Oh, hey, it's a Phoenix. Yes, but do you ever see another one? I didn't say does they were rare. Phoenix, does that Phoenix ever interact with any other Phoenixes? Phoenix I. Phoenix. There you go. Give us the answer to what is the plural of Phoenix. That's a question we can answer. Hmm. You mean we can't answer? We can't answer. Good point. No. Good point. Uh, We're stupid. So, so here's here's uh, here's some homework for us. The first thing is, how do we like the name of the podcast? Two guys, one podcast. Mm. I like it. I'm not sold on it. I'd be okay with an answer. I'd be okay with another suggestion. We're open to suggestions. You can send those. Well, hell, you if you get this first version, then then you know how to get in touch with me. Tell me what you think about the name of the podcast. Uh, and second of all, how do we close the thing? How do we how do we say goodbye when we sign off? If you say goodbye, that means there's a chance that there won't be another one. Oh, uh, so we shouldn't we should <laughs> and uh, you could just say and that's loving a podcast. Loving a podcast means never having to say goodbye. Yeah. Or, <laughs> you know, that's 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 the show for now. And that's the show. Until there's some more show. Yeah. I'm one guy. I'm the other. And this has been the podcast.